supplies. So as usual, the first thing you want to do is gather your supplies. So definitely the sodium alginate beads kit, of course, but there are a ton of other things you also want for this lab. Balance and Sharpie, safety glasses on your eyes. Your well plate that hopefully has been cleaned and dried. If you haven't cleaned it, please clean it thoroughly before you do the lab. Okay, you'll want some printer paper at some point to put behind that. Um, a cup of water, just room temperature tap water is fine. And then some of your supplies from previous labs, okay? So specifically, you'll want your urease in 20% acetone from the previous lab that you did, okay? You will have probably more left than I do. Um, I did a half, half volume. And then your 10 milligram per milliliter urea, right? Both of these should have been stored in your fridge since the last lab. And then one of your bottles of cabbage pH indicator, hopefully thawed. Okay, I forgot to thaw mine ahead of time, so I just put it in some warm water. It'll thaw quick enough. Um, I'll be able to get out from around the edge. All right, so here we go. Starting the lab, right? following the pre-lab in your notebook, you're going to take your 15 milliliter tube from your sodium alginate kit, okay, and you're going to label it. 2% sodium alginate, initial state, and period. All right, and then using your balance, you're going to weigh out 0.2 grams of sodium alginate. You should have a weigh boat in here. And your packet of sodium alginate. Okay, so 0.2 grams, just a little bit. Save the rest of this just in case you need it again. Put it back in the bag. Okay. Add the sodium alginate to your tube. And now you're going to add just a little bit of water first into the bottom of this tube. This can get very thick and difficult to stir. Okay, so you want to make a, th a thick paste first. So you add just a little bit of water. Okay, take your wooden stir stick or some other if you have a chopstick or something might be even better. Okay, work on getting it all combined into a thick paste. All right, and then. You're gonna fill this up to the nine milliliter line with just some tap water. And you're gonna to continue to mix thoroughly, scraping down. Right, if you get clumps of stuff on here, make sure you scrape that off on the sides and then mix it back in. Mine's pretty lumpy, so you just gotta keep mixing. Try different mixing tools, try not to spill. Break up the clumps. All right, and you can see mine is still actually kind of lumpy here. You wanna use a wooden stir stick or chopstick or something to really smash up those lumps um, to make sure that it's really smooth. Okay, set that aside. Okay, you're gonna make your calcium chloride tube, which is conveniently pre-weighed for you. We didn't wanna get any cross-contamination of the weigh boat there, right? So you're gonna just use some tap water, fill this up to the 40 milliliter line. Then mix and make sure this completely dissolves. All right, so at this point, you want to get your well plate just like in your pre lab, put it on some white printer paper, and label the different rows. And now we're going to make your beads. Okay, so you're going to start by making um, just some plain alginate beads. So find your alginate tube again, right? Your calcium chloride is the solidifying solution. Okay, and then you want to find your transfer pipette. Okay. Now, it's possible you're going to have to trim off the end of this because the um, sodium alginate can be kind of thick and it can get stuck in the tip here. You just want to cut sort of right here, you know, a little bit above where it starts to widen out. Cut off that tip with some scissors. Make sure you throw this out. If you end up needing to cut a little higher, that's fine too, right? Um, to open this up just a little bit. You don't want to come all the way up here. You still want a bit of the cone. Okay. All right. So I'm going to show you a video of um, the dropping of this in here. So basically you're going to draw up some liquid. You know, there's kind of markings on here, maybe to the first or second line on here. And you're going to just drop into your calcium chloride held upright in a cup or something. So you basically drop the alginate solution into the calcium chloride. Sometimes it gets a little jammed. So maybe we need to cut the tip off of this a little bit more. So it's a little bit bigger of an opening. 
you just drop the alginate solution into the calcium chloride too. Okay, and you want to drop from kind of a high height, try and have it land not on the side but in the middle of the liquid so it'll form these little balls. You can kind of see them in there. Right, you can watch it as it drops, forming the little solid balls of sodium alginate. And you can see the balls starting to form inside um, the calcium chloride solution. Those are your plain sodium alginate beads, your plain beads. Okay. Once you have gotten enough of those plain beads, you want like 20 to 25 or so, um, you're going to transfer them into your well plate. So I would use a spoon to scoop them out. Okay. Um, you're going to put five beads into each of your four plain alginate wells in your well plate. Okay. Make sure they're not super wet from the calcium chloride. Right, so kind of drain the, the beads before you add them to the well plate. Okay? So those are the first two rows in your well plate. You're going to put in plain beads that you just created. So you should have about 7 mils or so of your sodium alginate left. And to that, you're going to add your urease from the fridge. So this is your urease and acetone, so you want to find that tube in the fridge. You should have some sediment of soybeans with acetone on top that has your urease in it. Then with your clean transfer pipette, you're going to add about 3 mils of your urease liquid into your sodium alginate tube. Okay, and then you're going to mix it up, and that's what you're going to use to make the next set of beads. Alright, so you want to try and make sure you're getting the urease liquid from the top and none of the sediment. Fill up your transfer pipette there, and you're going to use the markings on the side of the sodium alginate tube to judge when you've added about 3 milliliters. Okay. Again, try to make sure you don't get any sediment in the pipette. You don't transfer any of that over into your sodium alginate tube. And then you just want to mix this so that the two solutions blend completely. Alright, so now you have your sodium alginate and urease mixed together in here. You've got your cutoff pipette from before. You can use the same one. Okay, and your calcium chloride too. Okay, and again, it can be useful to set this upright in a cup. Okay, or in a, you know, whatever kind of vessel you have. So it's a little bit not quite the right shape, but that's fine. Um, great. Make sure this is well mixed. And then you're going to draw up, and you're going to create basically all the rest of the beads. Okay? So you're going to use all the rest of your alginate solution. Okay? And you're going to drop it in, drop by drop. Okay? And you're just going to keep going. You want to use up all of your sodium alginate solution. And you can see I'm getting a pretty good, getting a pretty good collection of drops there already. Okay, and just keep going. You want to do drop by drop. You don't want to let more than a drop go down. And if you get to a point where you've got a ton of beads and you can't really get a lot more into your pipette, that's fine. Okay, you probably have enough beads. Okay, at this point I have a whole ton of beads in here. Okay, you can see lots and lots of beads. Okay, you should have some cheesecloth. So once you're sure you have all the beads you can really get in here, you're going to cover this with cheesecloth to trap the beads in here. And once you're sure you've got all you need, you're going to drain this into the sink. Okay, so that the liquid leaves but the beads stay behind. Okay, okay. and that's going to end up looking like this. So you've got all your beads there in the bottom of your tube. Okay, you're going to spoon some of them into your wells. Um, this is not the right spoon, <laughs> so you can kind of shake them into a spoon. Okay, and you want to put those into your urease bead wells. Okay, so these are your urease beads that are going to go into your last two rows. You're not going to use all of these. The rest of them that you don't use, you're going to cap up securely and pop these in your fridge. Okay, you're going to need these for when you make your medical device. Okay. All right, and then you're going to run your test. So you're going to add urea to the wells that get urea. You're going to add cabbage juice indicator to all of the wells, right? You're going to take a good clear photo on a white background of the results. So at this point, you're just going to set up the well plate following the directions in your notebook and make sure to get a good clear photograph of the results. You may need to wait up to 10 minutes or add more indicator in order to really see the results clearly. And then you're just going to clean up. You're going to save your urease beads in their tube in the refrigerator for making your medical device later next week.